everybody, this is Oliver, and today I would like to, um, yeah, well, tell you what you have to keep in mind if you want to include new content types in other content types. For example, if you wanted to include um, single choice set or find multiple hotspots or column into question set, just for example, could be something else, of course. Um, yeah, there's some things that you have to remember and to, to take care of. Sometimes sometimes it's working out of the box, sometimes it doesn't, and yeah, maybe you're interested why. So well, let's have a look, um, because here is um, well, my Drupal test system, and I have modified the question set a little, so let's have a look. Um, there we go, we want to have a question set. So there it is, you know that. And of course, I'll have to give it a title and what else could I call it, but test. And uh, now we have this list of content types down here. Um, and if you know it, let's have a look. You'll see it kind of longer than you're maybe used to. So uh, it normally ends here at essay. And now we have, oh dear, single choice set, find multiple hotspots and column. And we'll see, well, first we should have a look how I did that because it's having these options here, it's just cha changing three lines. Um, we can go to the code. There it is. This is the uh, semantics.json file of um, uh, H5P uh, uh, question set. And um, yeah, if you don't know about semantics.json, well, that is, um, you can watch my other videos. But in general, it is used to describe how the editor should look at what options it should give you. And if we scroll down where I was before, then you will see. Um, here we have the list of content types that should be included in question set and um, yeah, the things that are marked in yellow that uh, yeah, have changed low. So single choice set has, is, has been added and um, find multiple hotspots and column. These are the machine names of them. So um, I just changed these three lines and now I have these options and let's have a look. Um, oh yeah, why did I choose these or those? Um, you should have a look at the video about my or oh, not mine uh, about the question type contract. Um, of course, I didn't choose image because image is not a question type. It wouldn't work out of uh, it anyway because it doesn't have like a, it's not a question type and it doesn't implement that thing. But these mine single choice set is about questions and uh, find multiple hotspots is kind of a question. You have to find something and a column can include questions, so that might work. So, but single choice set first. Um, I can tell you it works because it implements that um, question type contract and it does some more things. So um, let's just check. Oh, let's say A, B, C. It doesn't have to make sense. Just to see it's working. D, E, and F. So uh, we have a title. We have included a single choice set. And we can click on save. And we'll, we will see the question set. There it is. And oh, that is working, that is great. So we can now choose, let's make one correct. And let's have one wrong. So that is working. And now you'll see the reason why it's probably not included in the question set because it has its single choice set has its own kind of result screen uh, with its retry and its show solution button. And this one now is added from uh, the question set, which I can click and this now goes to the question sets. Um, end screen. So, technically, from a technical perspective, it works. You could include a single choice set into a question set by just adding that one line, but it's kind of weird for the user. So, um, yeah. So that's that's uh, but th that's the way it works. You could could choose something else. Um, yeah. So that works. So just adding that line, it works because it implements this um, question type contract. So. Um, let's remove the single choice set and let's try a find multiple hotspot question. So we can include that in the editor and I'm not sure why the question marks are here. I think it's um, a bug in the, the content type. But uh, we can add a background image and um, I don't know, let's choose the trees. And then we could uh, had, would have to define uh, the hotspot. Oh, and you see, um, you already see, it is working, but this is not nice. It's a deficiency of the uh, content type. And we'll just, in a second, see it, <laughs> it has more problems. So, um, I don't know, let's say, just exclamation mark. Let's just mark the tree, the tree top. So we could try to create that, and uh, it will not work. 
So um, basically we have done that already, but you'll see, okay, screen uh, will show the content type, but even if I click here, it will not work. So this seems to work, but I don't get this finish button. Why? Because uh, this content type does not implement the um, question type contract. So um, if you have a look at the other video, so now question type would ask, has the user given an answer? And um, this one would never answer because this is not implemented. So question set doesn't know that the answer has been given. It could show the finish button, um, but it can. So in this case, uh, you would have to fix the problem in uh, find multiple hotspots first. So you would have to go into that code and um, yeah, implement the question type contract. So you may have to do that as well. Um, we can choose a different one. So um, we could use column. You've seen that before. And uh, let me tell you, it, I've had a rough look. It seems to implement the question type contract and still it doesn't work. Um, we can check that as well. So we can go and create a column. So, um, of course, now we could include an image in, um, in theory. Wouldn't make sense in a question set. But uh, if we just chose, oh no, true false question. It has it all true false question. Um, let's say it's false. So, and let's say that's false. Um, and we, if we save it, we'll see it doesn't even show um, the content. So it really crashes. So you see this one's white and here you will get an error message. Question add button is not a function. So because um, question set is not only expecting the question type contract to be, to be implemented, but it also, um, well, that's kind of technical, but it has another dependency or um, no, um, column should have another dependency. Um, it should be extended from href question, which is another library, which provides this add button function. And unfortunately, uh, column doesn't extend that um, library. So um, it doesn't work, it crashes. So in this case, you would have to go to href column and uh, change, the change the code a little so it um, extends from this href question library. So this could be a reason why it's not working. So this is, um, this is kind of special already. And um, yeah, but you, you may face that. So in this case, again, you would have to change column first before it could be included. It's not, um, it, it did, it's not enough to just add the line in semantics.json. So this could also be a reason. Uh, what else could happen? Then there's something in theory which could ha happen in a column. Let me show you. It doesn't in, 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 um, in this case, but um, I can, uh, I'll show you in the code in a second. But um, if you see this here, so we could here have a column. Let's say column would work uh, because we have now extended it from um, HFE question. And um, Oh, no, we're in column. So in column, we chose true false question. And um, we could go here and we could now also choose true false question here. And in this case, um, this would work. Uh, doesn't matter what I enter here. Um, wouldn't be a problem. But let's have a look at the code. What, what might happen potentially. You may have to take care um, of that at some point. Um, if we go back to semantics of question set, you see in this here, and true false is using hfafi true false question, uh, true false 1.6, that's the version number. And the important thing is that all the sub content types th that may be in there that have sub contents of their own, like, like column could have, need to have, uh, need to use the same version number of the library. So column 1.13 would have to use true false question. 1.6 otherwise uh, what would happen so let's say if we include one want to do, do it that way here we want to have the true false question and maybe here we would have to column with something else and the true false question and both would have different version numbers so H, the core of h5p would try to load uh, version one let's say it's 1.6 of true false question and let's say column still used 1.5 so h5p core would try to load both library versions and that doesn't work so it would crash so um, you will always have to take care that if you have um, like this list and you see, okay, here's true false question. I know that true false question is also in the HYP column. Then you would have to go to um, 
atrophy column and uh, check what version it uses. So I said in this case it's fine because I checked and it also uses true or false question 1.6. Um, and all the other ones are fine, but um, you have to think about that. It might be a reason for a crash. Is that all? No, that is not all. There's uh, one more thing you may have to um, to take care of. Um, yeah, this case is kind of simple because uh, where is it? Uh, here it is. Um, we all only have the the regular form-based editor of H5P, but of course there are other content types like uh, course presentation that have a different editor, like a custom editor. And um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I should show you, of course. So let's create a course presentation. We changed that. We don't need the questions anymore. So um, if we have a course presentation now, you will see I also added um, or I tried to add a new um, content. It's down here. So if we go down here, it's image pairing. And um, yeah, it's a little more complicated. Not really more complicated. I'll show you. So if you want to have another content type in here, it's basically th the same you would go to semantics.json of course presentation and it also has this list and here I added image pairing 1.4 that is the latest version so here it is and um, that's not enough because now in course presentation um, in the editor we need to load the, um, the library as well so what happens um, let's say I don't, I don't know uh, which could be used it really doesn't matter. Let's use fill in the blanks. So if I now click on fill in the blanks, what does it do? Here we have the form, but in the background you see it already created one instance of that content type. So it is in there. So the editor needs the library as a dependency, otherwise it couldn't, couldn't load it. So um, uh, going back to the editor, so that is why I hear of the code of H5P course presentation. And here in library.json, you'll see, um, I've ha uh, there's a separate video about um, this library.json file where I explained that as well. So here you have a long list of uh, preloaded dependencies that are libraries that need to be loaded uh, before the editor works and uh, down there I added the image pairing library in version 1.4. So uh, now we could load the library and uh, one more thing of course we need um, an icon here so you have the Twitter user icon and it just shows um, yeah these four squares to remind of image pairing and um, that you would you would have to add these as well but that, that is just here in the uh, style sheet toolbar.css in course presentation and it's quite long but if we scroll down here's one in uh, one um, occurrence where I added the um, well it's, it's the font family which contains some icons is h5p font awesome and then down there I said okay and the, this button should have that's a symbol, that's a code, the Unicode for um, for this for uh, icon, for, for dot symbol, I don't know how to call it. So, and uh, so now in theory, um, it should work, we could think it should work like this. So I added, um, what is it, fill in the blanks. So um, shouldn't it now work with um, image pairing as well? It might, uh, because image pairing actually it implements a question type contract it's not relevant here but it's um, that is nice but if I click on that I can now you see ah, nothing happens here and here we see an error message which says mm, the property length is, is uh, undefined uh, doesn't doesn't work um, that is because um, what happens in the background so the editor of course presentation now tries to load an instance to so create an instance of image pairing and um, it doesn't have any default values so uh, basically it's an empty image pairing and the problem is that the author of image pairing forgot to set defaults in the code so uh, we can um, check that quickly it's not difficult to fix but again in this case you would have to to change the code of image pairing so it could be implemented into in course presentation um, where is it so um, oh no I don't have it here but I oh, can have a look in, in, in here um, so that's a problem so here it is line 500 and now we have we'd have to track it down so it says cars to use the length so uh, cars to use obviously is undefined and we check here it should be defined here parameters dot cards um, parameters is probably would have to scroll down Param parameters is probably the parameters that the content type is given and because um, well 
there's no default value like an, an empty array set for cards um, this crashes so too bad so we'd have to fix that first in, in image pairing and um, yeah I guess that it that's it um, you've seen in theory it's pretty simple to include other content types in in compound content types you just add them to semantics.json and maybe sometimes you'll have to add the library dependency and sometimes you'll have to fix the other content types first um, because uh, yeah they might not implement the question type contract you'll have to add that or um, as you've seen uh, for uh, find model hotspots uh, yeah well that's what did, which didn't implement the question type contract sometimes it works like in single choice set and uh, you'll have to take care of like these library collisions um, if you have content types that can include other content types in content types kind of difficult um, yeah but you can rewind of course and uh, check what I mean so um, these are the basics and I think next time or in one of the next videos we can actually go through this step by step and I can uh, demonstrate you how it's done although I basically showed it here so see you then bye